when when you wake up in the morning, you know, if you spent the first half hour before you got out of bed with a little contemplation, you, you know, you, you'll see your whole world differently because right now, because we're talking to you, you you're seeing your world differently because you're thinking, well, what if that's so? What if that's so? Well, it is so. And that's what we're telling you. It is so. It is. And what is so? Your say is a valid say. You're about saying your valid say. Do you know what? I can tell you what, from what you're experiencing right up to this moment, is what you have thought. You get it? What you're experiencing right here, right now, in your, in yourself, You thought it up. You you gave life to that idea. Yes, you did. God hasn't made a mistake. We're being delivered into our own inequities. Isn't that so? It's absolutely so. It's absolutely so. It goes back to what you were saying earlier about the fortune teller. The fortune teller only gleans from the individual bits of information, and from those bits of information, then they begin to expound on what that individual's future could be. Like, for example, that guy I told you about at the store, I can tell you he's going to have a long day. Now, how do I know that he's going to have a long day? Because he said this is going to be a long day, and he meant it. Yes. Yes. That, see, that, that's important, that last thing you said. He meant it. You understand? We, we agree with a lot of things we hear, but do we really mean it? See, if you're not understanding it, <laughs> then you didn't really mean it. <laughs> it, means, it means you want to be... You want to be seen as knowing. If you know yourself, you don't give a damn what anybody knows about you. You know, and I really and I really am not concerned with what with what you're gonna do with what you hear. Because you see, that that's that would be it that would be kind of stepping on your choice. Because you're given choose this day by God. So who am I to say? Or to judge what you're thinking and feeling, it isn't. It is. It's up to you, because it's you who's going to experience it. Yeah, I, 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 I know all the stories you say. I'm going to say right now, and I've heard them before. And that was about, uh, well, what about the people take guns and go out and shoot people? Yeah. Well, the thing of it is, is that if 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 God didn't do it, it wasn't done. And since you're saying it was done, well, then it was God's power used by the individual to do that. And he has permission. He has authority. Absolutely. Choose this day. And that's what he chose. And you say, well, what about the innocent people he killed? Well, you know, there's nothing transforming in death. They'll just wind up with a new body somewhere else again. But they really aren't. They really aren't even gone because you really don't go anywhere. <laughs> you just you just change your position on this right. piece of the circuit. But <clears throat> that's another story. Right now, right now, I just want you to convince yourself that you are saying a valid say. Okay. See, there's a guy standing here with a pad and a paper, and, and he's got a pen, and he's writing down everything you say. Okay. And then he, he, he reads it back to you, and you're going, well, well, no, no, don't. Well, take that part off. See, see it don't work that way. If you said it, you experience it. 
I mean, I mean, I'm not asking you to take my word for anything. I'm telling you, all you have to do is test it. And once you test, once you test it, that means that means you caught yourself. You caught yourself in the act of catching a terrorist in your own mind, and 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 they're they're in there too. Look, look, it's all in here, but what you're remembering is what you're experiencing, and that's a poor that's a poor memory. And never would say that all the time. Man is such a poor dreamer. See, see, because we're all dreaming. This, this is all a dream, a, a virtual reality. In other words, it's all temporary. E everything is temporary. You know, what's away, except you. You're the only reality here being the part you're playing. Did you choose it? See, he gave you choice. Didn't he? See, he said, "Choose this." Day. That means you can choose yourself, and you can choose what, what you're asking for. So you do have choice. See, he didn't leave you here alone. He gave you choice. You, you can, you can. Well, like today, you dream in billions of people. Okay. But it's all one. It's all the one. There's only God. He plays all the parts. And you play all the parts. And he says, I suffer with you, but you behold me not. He's suffering. You know, and that's that's what you that's what you really call camaraderie. You know, he's he's right there in in the in the trench with you. I'm I'm right here with you. I, I will never leave never leave you but well, it sounds like immortality doesn't it it does see that that should lift your spirits enough to understand that this is valid it's 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 you we're telling you that you're valid oh well, yeah it's up to you to figure out what valid is <laughs> It's as you think you are. That's how valid it is. And if you're liking it, and you're doing it right. You know, what does it say? If a man would order his conversations aright, he would be shown salvation. Was that it? That's exactly it. So... You're told how to see yourself being shown salvation. Have you attempted it? I mean, I mean, have have you given it any time, any any investment of your of your time in into finding that relief? And I'll tell you something. That is a relief that it's just. I couldn't imagine anything more relieving, and, and it's and it's 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 great. It's instant because you know it's coming from number one. Because he says, "I'm with you always. I will never leave you. Omnipresence, omnipre, omnipresence is right here, right now. Is it not?" Absolutely. And you're not going to run off the word to meet him. Right here, right now. This is the appointed hour, right, right now. It's always now. So, so you can change your mind five minutes. You can, you can, you can lay out a whole, whole new parameter in, in five minutes. You don't, have, you don't have to put it in details all right, right away, but just a general. Look, we, we, we're told by the wisest men down through the ages 
that man is his own attitude. You understand? Your attitudes are your life. You change your attitudes, you change your life. It's that simple. And how, how can you change what is? Let it go. It's it's the same thing. It's the same way you forget other things. You you can forget things really easy. I mean, I mean that that's generally our our problem is that we do forget things too easy. But the only reason you're remembering these is because you keep turning to them. See? When you quit turning to them, then then their feeding time stops. Because that, that's what they're living on. They're, they're living on your, your attention. And you're getting the attention. It's actually feeding the very thing you want to go away. Why? I don't know why. I mean, that's what you ask yourself. You, know, you ask me out. Uh, I don't know. Well, I only know what you're thinking when I see you do what you're doing. And if you're trying to explain yourself and justify yourself, there's an awful lot done that. <laughs> Okay, you give yourself away. That, that's what God tells you. He tells you, don't, don't, don't give, don't give your energy away, because you, you, you might need some of it. If you want to know how forgetful you are, just, just think of what, what, what was it that God left us? A remembrance, sir. See, he, see. You're not growing into this. You know, you say, as you grow, you outgrow. Okay, yeah, well, that's that's the body. But spiritually, see, you're on all the time. You're taking in what? Is it lovely and a good report? Fine, take some more in. But if it isn't, you know, <laughs> And, and actually, I, I, I've been in, I've been in groups where I really wanted to do that, <laughs> but it, it seemed a little out of place or something. <laughs> or, yeah. It, it, see, you know they're not hearing themselves. You like to just tap them on the shoulder, and say, "Hey." You know what you're doing there? Yeah. No, I'll give you that. <laughs> oh, look. And actually, you're doing them a great favor, but they, they don't see it. Someone did it for me in a sentence. It convinced me to listen more. And then I heard more, and then I listened, and I heard more. There's still more. I had a half a dozen of Neville's tapes, and I listened to them at least one every night for years before it actually touched base. I began thinking differently. The importance of having a CD, because what has your focus has your life. Think about it. We're not asking you to join anything, but you have to have the CDs. You have to have the DVDs. You have to listen to them. It's you training this. Listen, listen, listen. But as Mr. Lindo stated, you have to listen to them repeatedly. And again, for those who are interested, Click the link below and it will take you to the four CD set and you'll be able to transform not only your mind, but your world.